Hey, this is Susan Velez from SusanVelez.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where I make the techie side of blogging easy. So if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, I highly recommend that you take the time to do that right now. What I'm going to be doing is every Wednesday, I'm going to be creating a video that I believe will help you learn or improve your WordPress skills so that you can succeed with blogging. So in this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to use desktop server pro and i'm going to install wordpress locally i'm going to install a fresh installation and then what we're going to be doing is i'm going to in different versions i'm going to show you what i do to in different video versions what i'm going to show you is what i do to every wordpress blog that i install on a live server so for today's tutorial i'm just going to walk through the process of installing wordpress locally you can use either desktop server or you can use another local another service that offers you the ability to set up WordPress locally. So I'm not going to go through those. I'm actually just going to show you how to install WordPress using desktop server. So let's get started. So what we want to do is we want to create a new development website. So I'm just going to click on next. And then you can see that it, it asks me for my site name. And, I, and for this video purpose, we're going to just be using the site demo. And this is the site that I'm going to be working on and showing you different things with WordPress. And then at the time of this video, the current version of WordPress is 4.7. By the time you watch this video, it could be a different version, but this is the version that we're going to install. And it's going to be installed locally on my computer inside of my documents inside of a folder called websites. So we're just going to click on create. And what this is going to do is this is actually going to create and install host WordPress locally, just as if it was on a live server. The difference is that this site will never see the internet. It's just going to be hosted on my computer. So once this is done, you can see that it'll let you know that it is done. So we're just going to click on next and it says configuration is complete. You can now finish your desktops WordPress setup. Please specify a title, username and password. So we're just going to click on this right here where it says demo.dev WordPress admin install PHP. And this is going to open up the browser inside of Safari. Now you may have seen this if you've installed WordPress before, you know what this is. This is basically just choosing the language that your blog is going to be in. Mine is going to be in English. So we're going to click on continue. And then this is the famous five minute WordPress installation process setup. So we're just going to run through here. I'm not going to take these like if you know, if you know, if you set this up on a live server on a live site, you want to make sure you do a an SEO optimized title tag. We're just going to call this demo title. It's not a big deal. It's just a demo site and then username. I'm going to just for purpose demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use demo. If you've watched me install WordPress or you've visited my website, you know, I'm a huge fan of using RoboForm to cr come up with a very strong username as well as a password but for demonstration purposes this is no big deal and then for the email you want to make sure you give it a valid email I'm just going to use admin at gmail.com and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on install WordPress and then this is automatically going to log us into the demo title site so I'm just going to close out Safari and I'm going to open up my local host sites on Firefox. And then you can see right here is my demo.dev site that we just set up. And then you can see that right here, if I click on this, it's got the default 2017 theme. So what we want to do is we want to log into the site. And then this is the first thing that you should do whenever you first install WordPress on a live site. So this is the WordPress installation that we just set up. So what we want to do is we want to delete that plugin called Hello Dolly. So we're going to come over here and we're going to delete this plugin. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete the Hello Dolly and its data? Absolutely. And then pages, we're going to delete the sample page. We're going to trash that. And then we're going to come over here, trash, and we're going to delete it permanently as well as the Hello World sample page or sample post. I'm sorry trash this and then we're going to come over here to trash and we're going to delete this permanently now on a local host this would be all that i would take care of but if you're on a live server and you actually followed this tutorial and set up your blog live 
what you want to do is you want to actually come over here to settings and we're going to come over here to reading um, if you're on a live server the search engine visibility what I like to do is I like to keep it checked we want to discourage search engines from indexing this site and the reason we want to do that is because our new WordPress blog while it is set up and installed we actually don't want to index it until we're actually ready and we have our content on it so make sure if you're on a live server to make sure you check this and what I did to get there is I actually scrolled down here to settings came to reading and then you want to check the discourage search engines from indexing this site so that is how you install WordPress if you followed along you're most likely on a live server if not you installed WordPress locally like I did but either way you have installed your first WordPress site or you're just following along to see what I do I hope you enjoyed this tutorial be sure and you subscribe to this YouTube video I'm going to be taking this and growing this blog and showing you exactly what I do to all my WordPress blogs so be sure and subscribe below I'll talk to you later and have a great day